بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بجهادنا 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 سنفتح الصخرة ونمزق الطاغوت والكفرى بجهادنا سنفتح الصخرة ونمزق الطاغوت والكفرى Hello everyone, peace of the Lord with Jesus Christ with everybody. You know, uh, uh, this guy you saw in the picture here, he's talking that the reason of every lie in, uh, over the Christians and the Jew and the Hindu is the Satan. First, let us see who is the Satan first, and then we can, we can just give a definition for the Satan. This is Sahih Muslim, the book of Al Qiyamah, resurrection, and heaven and fire. This is the name of the book. The chapter name, the, the, the work of Satan trying to de deceive you by sending his men and his soldiers. This is what the sub chapter name. Hadith number 5035. Cool. Now, who, what, is, what, is, what the hadith is saying there? This is a very authentic hadith approved by Muslims. Aisha, she was jealous from the Prophet because he was sleeping with all women around. You know, the Prophet, he have a big fan, he's a, he's a superstar. All the women, they want to sleep with him, even, even not the wives. Because in Surah Al-Ahzab, any woman, she can give herself to the Prophet to have sex with her as a gift. Imagine, I like that. Huh? I wish I am him, maybe. You know, a woman, she would knock at my door and say, say what to me, you know, please, please, you know, take me, take me. And I would say, maybe, you know what, I, I, I'm busy because my bed is busy now. Anyway, this is a different story. So according to this story in here, the wife All of this is refuted by Islamic responses. Refer to this link. Uh, I will put it in the description section. The verse he's talking about said wed, wed, meaning marriage. He's lying because that's what's, what mission liars do. By the way, he's revealing his filthy fantasies. Listen. Her as a gift. Imagine, I like that. Huh? I wish I am him, maybe. You know, a woman, she would knock at my door and say, say what to me, you know, please, please, you know, take me, take me. And I was... <laughs> said to her, is your Satan came to you? She said, do I have a Satan? He said, every human being have a Satan. She said, including you? He said, including me, but my God helped me and I converted him to Islam. So the Satan of Muhammad converted to Islam. And the video I saw from this guy, you know, said clearly that every human have one companion, one Satan. One companion. Now, according to this, the companion of Muhammad converted to Islam and he became a Muslim. Now, we will see that this good satanic Muslim, he was the one who was playing around with Muhammad, causing him to do bad, filthy stuff. But before we go there, you know, isn't it weird that Satan converted to Islam? You know, isn't it accept the, the logic that Satan, Satan can accept filth. I will agree if, if somebody said to me, well, uh, uh, Satan, he converted to, uh, like, he like, he like people who they are gays, who he like people who they are uh, uh, criminals, he like people because they are doing fair. Huh? But Satan accepted Islam, this is mean what? This is mean Satan is not absolute evil. And in the same verse, this guy he talked to, he did talk about, you know, it's talking that Satan, he and his people, they are evil, absolute evil. So how does Satan, who is absolute evil, became a good guy and he converted to Islam? The only way to accept this hadith, if the Satan, he is accepting filth, not accepting good. So Islam is filth and this is makes sense. Now, let us continue to show that Islam... <laughs> Okay, his points are one, Satan converted to Islam, two, how can Satan convert to Islam, three, Satan can only convert to homosexuality and such, and four, it makes sense because Islam is filth, right? If you doubt the points I wrote down, please go back and watch it again, okay? First of all, everybody got, got a jinn companion, you can, you can call it a Satan companion, but it's, it's a jinn companion. And in Islam, jinns are like humans. There are both good jinns and evil jinns. So it is not shocking that a jinn converts to Islam because they are like humans. You know, there are even Christian jinns. Is this garbage speaker saying that Christianity also is filth? There are even Muslim jinns, so it is not shocking if a jinn converts to Islam. So, with that being said, 
i.e. that jinns are not, are not like demons in Christianity, but jinns in Islam are like humans. I would like, I, I would like to go to point two. How can Satan convert to Islam? As I said, not Satan himself, but jinns. Second of all, if it bothers him so much that demons converted to Islam, then Christianity should also bother him. It should also bother him. Because according to 1 John 4 verse 15, the one that confesses that Jesus is, is, is the Son of God, then God dwell in him. Astaghfirullah. Uh, 1 John 4 15. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him and he in God. But in another verse, in another verse, we see demons confessing that Jesus is the Son of God, Son of God the Messiah, i.e. they converted. Luke 1, 41. Uh, Even demons came out of many people screaming, You are the Son of God. But Jesus rebuked them and ordered them not to speak, because they knew that He was the Messiah. The, the logic that Satan... Satan can accept filth. I will agree if if somebody said to me, "Well, uh, uh, Satan, he converted to uh, like he like he like people who they are gays, who he like people who they are uh, uh, criminals. He like people because they are doing fair, huh?" But Satan. So what are you saying here? Investigate Islam. Is Jesus who are like gays according to you? Is Jesus who are like criminals according to you? Is Jesus is Jesus maybe doing like filth according to you? Answer. The same thing happened in your religion, in your book. So your argument falls right back in your own face, Mr. Investigate. Okay. Do you want to play with us? Okay. No. Say hello to my little friend. Okay. Do you want to play with us? Okay. <laughs> ونمزق الطاغوت والكفر بجهادنا سنفتت الصخرة ونمزق الطاغوت والكفر بعزيمة جبارة كبرى وإرادة لا تعرف القهر بعزيمة جبارة كبرى وإرادة لا تعرف 